Hey there. Today we're going to talk about some flappy butt updates. The first game I'm developing and releasing on Steam. Soon to be. So let's start right away here in the main menu. We could see a few things. We could see current level. That's new. So it shows us what level we've made it to. The game will save your progress up to the point to the level you made it to. There are 10 levels in Flappy Butts. After you complete said 10 levels, you start over. Except with a higher difficulty level. That's what this little difficulty spot here is on the bottom right. Now, we also have enter your name here. So now we can enter a name like I will enter my famous name, Mookakes. So now in Flappy Butt, we have a high scoreboard, which you will see when I inevitably die in Flappy Butt. The scoreboard will show you your name, how high of a of a score you've made it. A score is when you make it through a pipe. So however many pipes you make it through, keep track of the person who's made it the furthest. Who is the Flappy Butt champion? The world has yet to see. Before we jump in, let's jump into the credit section. I finally made the credits section for the people that helped back this game on Kickstarter. So that's exciting. Get to see everyone's name listed in here. Your name's inside the game and the thing. You could go to credits, everyone's going to see it and be so excited and be like, wow, look at all these people that helped fund this masterpiece of a game. Let's go back here. The the logo, I mean, it's, it's a small thing, but it's the small things that count in this world. If you catch my drift, we have this logo, this beautiful logo of Flappy Butt that just falls down right when the game starts. I love it. I still need to mess with the options. Haven't done that one yet. But okay, let's jump into the game. My requirements are going to be different in the final game for how many points you need to progress on to the next level. But uh, I made it the first couple levels a lower requirement just to give you guys a little preview of what's to come. All right, let's go here. Welcome to level one. Two points are required. Oh, that's the other thing. We could see our beautiful little flappy butt here now emits clouds of gas. Yellow gaseous puffily clouds are right there. And you can see we're on our way. We're collecting toilet paper. We beat the first level and we have to get two more points before we go on to the next level. We can see the snow levels starting to spawn. Oh, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Ooh, something's wrong with the scoreboard. I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, but there is a scoreboard. This is my first time seeing it like this, so that's kind of disappointing to see. I thought I had the scoreboard all figured out, but apparently I don't have the scoreboard figured out. Now I'm going to have to go back and look at the scoreboard. The scoreboard was already something that took me a lot of time to figure out. Wasn't working for like a week. Let's flap some more. So now we can see it just starts right away. The whole level is just the snow level. That's what level two is. Snow level, by the way. The best levels. Now, okay, you know, we can see we have our moving pipe now and couldn't even make it past the first pipe. We have moving pipe now. So the first level, you only have the static pipe. Second level, you start to get moving pipes and then each level just introduces a new moving pipe and it all randomizes on which pipe you're gonna get. Increase that difficulty. My goal is to beat the snow level. It's all I wanna do. All right, we have one more pipe to go. Yes. Level two defeated. Anyway, so yeah, got some flappy butt updates. Wanted to show off to you guys, mainly the gas clouds, because, I mean, it's, it's just a visual thing. It doesn't really change or add anything to the gameplay, the most important aspect of a game. But there's just something about those fluffy little particle clouds that make me excited to see that butt flap. I've been working on getting this game on Steam, having to go back and forth, making sure all my graphical assets are right and all that fun stuff. But it is it is on its way to Steam very soon. Excited to get the keys out to all the Kickstarters who helped with this. I've got nothing else left to say. Hope you all are doing great and catch you on the next one.